Please join my alliance, links in the description below. Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about a bunch of rewards which we'll be receiving as well as $100 worth of AC, which is a big deal because Sega's giving this away for free to 100 people. That's the catch. Only 100 people are going to get it. So why are they giving us all these goodies? And the main reason is because we hit 1 million ARCS operatives who have completed Chapter 3. So congratulations, yay, go us. We have managed to hit that milestone and we are getting rewarded greatly. So let's have my character surfing over here and... Uh, um, apparently she can surf on land too. As my character is surfing over here on the ocean, we're going to check out all the other goodies that we're getting in this event. So over here we can see there's a reward celebrating 1 million arcs, and it says over here that over 1 million arcs members have completed episode 3, so we are getting reward greatly. So between August 19th and August 26th, we are getting a 100% EXP earned, a 100% rare drop increase, as well as a 100% rare enemy spawn rate. And this applies to everything which is really really good especially if you've got bonus keys and if you're a premium member don't forget on august 22nd is pso2 day for premium members so you might want to save your keys for that day because the 100 percent exp earned right here will stack on all of your other boosters and pso2 day also gives you a really big boost for experience as well as all the other things so stack that all together and Mm -mm -mm. you're gonna be leveling like crazy however for us free-to-play folk don't worry we're also getting a lot of goodies so we're just gonna scroll down right here so the first bag of goodies is just pure experience so if you log in every single day between the 19th to the 26th you will receive a 100,000 experience ticket times two every single day however if you log in in five separate days you'll obtain an extra six 100,000 exp tickets so this makes a grand total of two million exp that is a lot of experience for free for literally doing nothing but just logging in okay so this is like the mini prize now for the big news appreciated arcs log in at least five times during the campaign period to be eligible to win one of the below items so again between the 19th and the 26th just make sure to log in at least five times why because there's a chance of you winning 10,000 ac that's a hundred dollars worth of ac you can also win 1000 sg and you can also win 10 scratch tickets so these prizes are huge and they're picking a hundred winners in each category so it's not some impossible odd just make sure you log in or don't log in and let me win i'm more than happy to take a hundred dollars off your hands but this is just amazing 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 okay so please 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 do participate in this because these rewards are insane what other game company gives you 100 bucks for free? However, that's not all. There are two more events going on. The first event over here is very, very simple. It's called Party Time. So I don't know why it writes it in my time zone, but uh, it's very nice for me. Maybe it writes it on your time zone when you access the site, but it says for me, this event will last from the 19th and end on the 1st. And all I need to do is complete two missions. The first one is Party Maneuvers 1, and the second one is Party Maneuvers 2. And I will get a Tokyo bonus key gold and a divine blade and this blade looks mm -mm -mm, freaking beautiful so i'm definitely going for this and who can say no to a tokyo bonus key gold that is a ton of experience we're talking about like 5 million experience at least right here so definitely worth picking up so a bunch of you guys are probably confused on where eo is because you probably never talked to her because i've never talked to her but basically you're going to come to the shopping mall to where i am where the two water slides are you're going to look to your left right here and here is eo okay you're going to talk to her and you're going to go to client order and you're going to scroll right down here and party maneuvers one in order to complete party maneuvers one all you need to do is do an expedition arcs mission or limited time quest with someone in your party it does not have to be a friend however probably getting a friend would be easier or finding an alliance member however let's say that you really have no friends you're not an alliance and you're truly a solo player don't worry there's still a way to do this quest very very easily when you talk to rebecca or the quest giver let's say that you need to do a recommended quest over here let's say we're doing floating facility all you need to do is select your difficulty and check this box 
when you check this box people will automatically join your game and all you need to do is complete the expedition or whatever you're doing with that party and once you finish that you will have completed party maneuvers one okay so that's the first part of that quest that's to get the tokyo gold key now for party maneuvers two is the exact same thing but you need to get an s rank okay and this will give you that really nice sword skin which kind of reminds me of excalibur so you can accept both of these quests do it at the same time knock it out of the park and you're good to go and last but not least the last event over here is the easiest of all all you need to do is go to the arcs handbook guide leotina and talk to her that's all you need to do you talk to her, you immediately get 20 star gems. This is the easiest 20 star gems you're ever going to get. So now I'll show you where she is. So for those who don't know where Leotina is, she's literally on my left side right there. You see that little yellow box with her waving and stuff? She's right there. So all you need to do is walk towards the gate, make a left turn, and she's right here. She's literally waving at you. You talk to her, you can go to Ark's handbook over here, you can just talk to her regularly and you're done boom 20 star gems easy as pie easy as 20 star gems you're ever gonna get literally as i was about to go to bed as you can see it is currently uh, midnight for me over here they posted four more articles so uh, i just gotta add this into the video so out of the four articles there are two which are two new urgent quests so i do not play on the jp server so i don't know what these two are but they look pretty cool. If you look at Dignity of Steel Unleashed over here, this kind of reminds me of Kankole, to be perfectly honest. Some Kankole Azur Lane sort of stuff. But uh, I'm guessing we kill the ship? Question mark? But either way, there are some pretty cool rewards over here. We can get a nice sword, assault rifle, grenade launcher, rods, twin machine guns, and knuckles. So we get these weapon skins that will drop from this. And there is a new augment. So for those who do affixing, I believe Yamato Factor plays a big deal because it's uh, used for some other stuff. I personally have not looked into this, but uh, I have heard a lot of people talking about Yamato Factor. But basically, we're going to be able to get this now, which is pretty nice. As for the second urgent quest, it is the Lunar Phantasm Matriarch. It seems here that we probably are going to need to pilot one of these Ridroids. Um, I really don't like this thing because uh, I just don't know how to use it properly. It's kind of annoying. But this boss, my gosh, this boss looks badass. I, I can't wait to fight this guy. This guy looks amazing. Um, and the rewards are pretty nice. I really like this astral sword. This sword looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of like a keyblade in uh, Kingdom Hearts. And uh, we've got some jet boots and we got a wand. So they look pretty dope. So I'm looking forward to playing the, both of these urgent quests, mainly because I've never played them before. I've never played on the JP server. So these two will be new to me. Another event is the quest trigger distribution, which will basically allow us to do Dignity of Steel whenever we want. So for those who don't know how the triggers work, it's basically an item which allows you to do an urgent mission whenever you want. Basically, all you need to do is you just need to log into the game and you will get a Dignity of Steel trigger, which you can use whenever you want. Just remember that it will be exactly the same as an urgent quest. So you do want to have a bunch of your friends in order to do this. You don't want to do this alone because it will suck and I don't even know if it's possible to complete it alone unless you're extremely geared. So make sure to gather your friends, maybe gather your alliance before using the trigger. Now last but not least are the urgent quests and concerts. So this is a new schedule. So they are adding a new concert. I've seen this concert once on YouTube and it looks amazing so i can't wait to see this concert in game it just it's really really good i'm a big fan of this concert however if we scroll down a little bit more you can see that they're still playing the persona 3 and the persona 5 concerts so i don't know if you can still pick up the morgana suit if you listen to both these concerts but hopefully someone will check and if you guys do know if you can get the morgana suit uh, please let me know in the comment section below so that other people know that they can still get that Morgana suit because it's really cute and I really like Morgana. And then down here are just all the different urgent quests. We've got the Beach Wars, we've got Luther, and then we've got Elder. Okay, so it's basically going to be those three plus the two new ones. So the Dignity of Steel as well as the Lunar Phantasm. So these are going to be the five different urgent missions that we can get. Obviously, they will rotate. So if you look up here on week one, Week 1 will be from the 18th till the 24th. We will only have Dignity of Steel. We will not have the Phantasm one. 
However, in week 2, which is 25th to 31st, we will have Dignity of Steel as well as the Lunar Phantasm. Well, that's the extra stuff that they added in back to the video. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Keep in mind that I did record this like a day before maintenance, so if there are new patch notes coming out, I'll probably cover those in tomorrow or the day after tomorrow in one of those videos because I don't actually know when patch notes get released. They kind of trickle down, like they get released one article at a time, and I don't follow the patch notes well enough which is something that I really, really should work on. So um, yeah, like the surf emote, for those who don't know about the surf emote, I actually had to do PVP for this. PVP is actually really fun, but um, unfortunately I didn't make a video about it um, because I didn't think I would do it because I didn't know it gave a surf emote. I'll try to stay more on top of things. I do apologize for that. But either way, I'm trying my best here. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.